Good Monday morning. John 17 is the great prayer Jesus prayed before he went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus is leaving these disciples by means of the garden, the betrayal, the judgment seat of Pilate, the cross, and it appeared to them that he was abandoning them. They felt frightened, helpless, alone, and unable to understand what's going on. Don't we often feel the same way? God leads us to a place of change, and we're frightened by it. We wonder if we're not losing everything that we held dear in the past, and we can't see that God is leading us to a higher and a greater relationship. I confess that the gripping reality of these requests of Jesus, the intense practicality of what he is praying, it's a level of prayer I've never reached. What I do realize, however, is that Jesus here is not only praying for the 11, he's praying for you and I as well. In verse 17, he pleads, Holy Father, keep them in your name, which you have given me that they may be one, even as we are one. Later in verse 15, he says, I don't ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. This is the theme of Jesus' prayer, that his disciples be protected and kept. This is one of those, if I were God, this is what I would have done things. I would have prayed the things I usually pray. Lord, use them. Lord, strengthen them. Lord, teach them. Lord, guide them. This is the prayer that I often pray for you. But when Jesus comes to this place where he is leaving his disciples and he wants to to put into one brief phrase all that's in his heart's urgings and desires for them. He sums it up with these two little words, keep them. All of this simply points to the fact that relationship is the main thing. Who we belong to is far more important than what we do. Jesus, aware of that, gathers all of his requests for his disciples in these two words. Keep them. The people you fellowship with has much to do with determining what you are and who you will become. Our primary fellowship must be with Father God, which is why Jesus' prayer is that our relationship with Father remain intact. If that relationship is intact, all our other relationships will grow and mature. So Jesus prays, keep them. Lord, thank you that you prayed for me. And thank you that I can know that your prayer is being answered and that Father God will keep me to the very end. Lord, there's there's a lot going on in my life. Unnerving, destabilizing circumstances that quite honestly, they rattle my proverbial cage. I know that Those praying with me can say the very same thing. Father, keep us. Lord, we confess that when everything in our life seems to unravel, we all too often cling to the wreckage of our lives rather than reaching out for your comforting hand. Forgive us. Jesus, thank you for asking Father God to keep us, to keep me. Lord, I cannot pray the way you pray, but I am grateful that When I don't know how or what to pray, you pray on my behalf. Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I pray all this in your holy name. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.